faint song of the rabbit moon by Chico Ayoba. People of the world, friends and relatives, standard tuning, capo on the first fret. What we're going to do is we're going to learn this song. There are eight short sections. It's pretty fun to play, guys. First section I'm going to fondly call the introduction to the song, Faint Song of the Rabbit Moon by Chico Ayoba. I do not know how to say the Japanese title for it. What you're going to do is you're going to have the top string open. You're going to, uh, well, it's an E chord. Guys, it starts with an E chord. So that means you put middle finger, second fret, second string from the top, or ring finger, second fret, third string from the top, pointer finger, first fret on the third string from the bottom. We actually don't even need this middle finger, but we might as well have it here, guys, just as a precaution. It's our safety net, just in case we play an extra string we didn't mean to play. Guys, your thumb is just gonna rest right on top of the top string, and you just give that top string a little gentle pluck. Then, using your pointer finger and middle finger, you're just gonna, you're gonna latch on to the middle two strings like that, and you just do this little, like, trigger pulling motion like that. So it goes boom, then pluck, pluck thumb fingers fingers then you do it again thumb fingers fingers then you do it a third time thumb fingers fingers and then your sneaky little ring finger is just gonna sneak in one quick pluck of the second to bottom string and then you go right back to thumb finger fingers and that is the introduction it goes like this all the way through thumb fingers fingers thumb fingers fingers thumb fingers fingers sneak thumb fingers fingers guys let's play it play with me one two three here we go thumb fingers fingers thumb fingers fingers thumb fingers fingers seek thumb fingers fingers great job we're now moving on to verse part one there are three parts of the verse this is the first one my name is Stuart. welcome to the channel at this time i've taught you one chord so i think it would be an appropriate course of action for you to subscribe to the channel i have at least two other achiko Ayoba songs currently up and running but but whenever you listen if you listen to this 10 years from now i probably have like 27 achiko Ayoba songs up and running i think i'm doing about three a year so that'd be 30 might be more than 27 Guys, there are upwards of 10,000 Chico Ayoba tutorials up on my channel right now. Also, the, let's, okay, let's keep going with the song. All right, so check it out. The verse starts off the same way. You keep your E chord. You go thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers. Two times on that little pattern. Then we have some barring to do, but I think you can handle it. If you're new to bar chords, this is going to be a little bit tough, but you can handle it. Guys, I will also show you an alternative if you don't want to do the barring. Too much talking. This is just clearly too much talking. Pointer finger is going to smash down on the second fret of all six strings. Guys, my tuner is on and it's flashing at me and it's driving me crazy. So then what you're going to do is I like to take my middle finger and I smash down on top of my pointer finger to help with the barring motion. Guys, your thumb is going to play the top string. Then your pointer, middle, and ring finger are gonna play the second from the bottom, third from the bottom, and third from the top all together like this. So that was thumb, fingers, fingers. Guys, you only do that once. Then your thumb is gonna switch to the second string from the top. You play that, and then you play those same three strings with your fingers, but you only pluck those one time, then with your pinky play four on the second string from the bottom and then play those same three strings over here now let's do a quick poll who thinks that was the worst explanation i've ever given guys the verse so far section one we have the e chord we're going thumb fingers fingers thumb fingers fingers bar on the second fret thumb fingers fingers then second string from the top with your thumb fingers add the fourth fret to the second string from the bottom fingers so that was e e bar bar pinky how we feeling we feeling good we feeling refreshed you get a good night's sleep last night no, no, this isn't working for me. Then we go back to the E chord. You go thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers. Then, you guys, what you're gonna do 
is we want the same chord we had before, where it was everything on the second fret, but this time you're just gonna play second fret on the top string with your pointer finger, skip the next string entirely, go second fret with your middle finger, then second fret with your ring finger, then second fret with your pinky. Guys, as you can see, it's the same notes we played when we barred, but now we're just playing each string individually. And you're thinking, but Stuart, why would we change it up? It's because of the chord that comes next. It's gonna make sense. But while we're talking about this, if you just don't wanna do the bar chord in that first part, you can do it this way and it's gonna be fine. This is so confusing. Why am I making it so confusing? So with each finger crammed into the second fret, you're gonna go thumb, fingers, fingers. Then you're gonna go like this. Get rid of your pointer finger. Move your middle finger to the second fret of the second string from the top, and then cram your pointer finger into the second fret of the third string from the top. So we have all four fingers really crammed into the second fret. On the middle four strings, we go thumb, fingers, then the moment of truth, your pointer finger slides back to the first fret, and you do fingers again. So that last part was everything crammed in, thumb, fingers, first fret. Guys, we have completed section one of the verse. Let's play it really slowly, ultra close up. Start with the E chord, verse section one. One, two, three, here we go. And thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, bar, fingers, fingers, second string from the top, fingers, fourth fret, back to E, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, second fret, fingers, fingers, cramped together, first fret. Guys, how'd you do so far? Are you ready to learn section two of the verse? Okay, section two is a little bit easier. Guys, pointer finger plays four on the top string, skip the second string from the top, and then go four, four, four. We're doing a lot of these things where we cram our fingers all into one fret. You're gonna go, Thumb, fingers, fingers. Thumb is on the top, fingers are on the second from the bottom, third from the bottom, and fourth from the bottom. So thumb, fingers, fingers. Then you're gonna get rid of your pointer finger. Move your middle finger up to the fourth fret of the second string from the top and put your pointer finger on the third fret of the third string from the top. Thumb, fingers, fingers. Thumb is now playing the second string from the top. So we've got boom, pow, pow, boom, pow, pow. Guys? Now you're gonna cram everything into the second fret again. Pointer finger, second fret, top string. Skip the next one, then second fret, second fret, second fret. You're gonna go thumb, fingers, fingers. And then guys, we're gonna go back to this one. You remember this one? This was middle finger, pointer finger, ring finger, pinky, all crammed into the second fret. Go thumb, fingers, then slide your pointer finger back and do fingers again. That was a weird burp that hurt a little bit. Then we go back to a regular E chord, guys. Top string is open, middle finger, second fret, second string from the top, ring finger, second fret, third string from the top, pointer finger, first fret, third string from the bottom. Remember that one? But we're then actually gonna change it into an E6 chord, which means we take the pinky and do the second fret on the second string from the bottom. I know I'm just naming some of the chords and then randomly not naming others. Like we could name all the chords in this song, but I like to think of this one as more of like a classical type song where I don't worry too much about what chords I'm playing and I'm just just thinking of it as one piece of music. There are other songs, even some other Ichiko Aoba songs that are better for learning chord names. That's probably not true. I'm just talking for the sake of talking. Okay, so we've got our E6 chord here, you guys. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do top string, and then you're gonna play ring finger, middle finger, pointer finger on the second from the bottom, third from the bottom, third from the top. So we go thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers. Then back to thumb up on the top string. And then now using those three fingers and your thumb, you're gonna play the middle four strings three times. One, two, three. And then finally, we're gonna go like this. Thumb, pointer, middle, ring, one at a time. So that last part there was thumb, Fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, pinch, 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 boogie, bing bong. Guys, let's play section two of the verse all the way through. Do you remember any of it? Starts on the fourth fret. One, two, 
three. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Boom, pow, pow, boom, pow, pow, boom, pow, pow, boom, bang, bong, boom, pinch, 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 walk a doobie. Notice that when you go from this chord, and what am I talking about? Okay, let's just move on to the next section. Great, I am, I'm happy that you're having so much fun. That makes both of us, we're both having a great time. Guys, verse section three, very similar to the section we just did, but not exactly the same. We start with this one, the second fret one. So it's second fret, then nothing, second fret, second fret, second fret. Guys, you're gonna go thumb up on the top, then fingers, fingers. Then we're gonna go straight to this chord. So what I did there is I lifted up my pointer finger, moved my middle finger up to the second fret of the second string from the top, put my pointer finger on the first fret of the third string from the top. Just did thumb, fingers, fingers. So now we've got thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers. Then go to the fourth fret. It goes four, then skip, four, four, four. Thumb, fingers, fingers. Then guys, look at this. Get rid of the pointer finger, move the middle finger up. Put your pointer finger on the third fret of the third string from the top. Thumb plays second string from the top. Thumb, fingers, fingers. Here's what we just did. This isn't that bad. We went second fret, then switch. Then fourth fret, switch. Guys, then you're gonna go back to the second fret. Go second fret, switch. It's that same switch we've been doing this whole time, guys. Then you go back to the E6 again. Do you remember the E6? It was this one right here. The E6 was top string open, then middle finger, second fret, ring finger, second fret, pointer finger, first fret, pinky, second fret. Now, something to observe when you switch to the E6, because we were on this chord here, to switch to E6, you don't need to move your pinky. Your pinky can stay in the exact same spot. And actually, you don't need to move your middle finger either. Like your middle finger might get like pushed around a little bit, but it gets to stay in the same fret. So we're going boom, pow, pow, boom, pow, pow. Guys, you're doing great. You're doing great. On the E6 chord, we're gonna go like this. Thumb plays the top string, then you're gonna pinch the middle four three times. One, two, three. And then you're gonna go bunky binka again. I feel like with each section, my explanations are getting worse and worse. And the bad news is the next three sections are the most complicated ones. So this is gonna be a little rough. Let's go ahead and play section three all the way through. Then we will play all three sections of the verse and the intro all the way through before we tackle the second half of this song. Section three, one, two, three. Good luck, friends. Thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, fourth fret. Switch, second fret, switch, then the E6 chord, guys, bunky binka. Great, now let's play from the very beginning all the way through the entire verse. One, two, three, nice and slow. One, two, three, one, two, three. Thumb, fingers, fingers, and thumb. Fingers, fingers, verse part one. And then bar. Back to the E. Section two. Then the E six. Thumb, pinch, 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 bunky, binka, third section, which is the easiest one. Fourth fret and switch. Second fret and switch. E6, thumb, one, two, three, bunky, binka. Guys, we've made it to the bridge. There are three different sections to the bridge. First section goes like this. Look, listen to this, it's beautiful.
I messed up a little bit at the end, but we're just gonna go with it, guys. So here's what you do. You must bar on the second fret again. Everything barred on the second fret. And then with your pinky or ring, no, use your pinky. Play four on the bottom string, guys. What you're gonna do, thumb plays the top string. Then using these fingers, you're gonna play the bottom three strings. Then get rid of your pinky and play the bottom three strings again. So that was thumb, fingers, fingers. Let's do that. One, two, three. Thumb, fingers, fingers. It's kind of brutal, right? The trick with this bar here, when you're playing the top string, make sure you're leaning into that top string. But then when you play the bottom three, make sure you start with this part of your finger. Like really lean into the bottom of the neck of the guitar right here. So don't just try to smash straight down equally on all the strings. You really want to focus on the top and then you want to really lean into the bottom right here. So right here, I don't feel like I'm pushing at all. I'm pushing on the top, pushing on the bottom. I've got a little bit of a curve to my finger. There we go. Okay. So we've got top, four, get rid of the four. Then you do need to keep it barred, but what you're gonna do here is we only wanna bar the bottom five strings. So I was like this, now I just kinda scooch my finger down so I don't have to use up that extra strength on the top string. Then my thumb plays second fret on the second string from the top. I play the bottom three strings, then I get rid of my finger completely and play the bottom three strings open. That chord sounds a little wrong, but that's how she does it part of the magical charm of Ichiko Eoba. So now we've got just like that, guys. Okay, let's go a little bit further. Then we have to go like this. Might be the hardest part of the song. That's not true. Okay, so here's what you do. Middle finger plays two on the third string from the top. Pointer finger plays one on the third string from the bottom. Then your pinky stretches up to four on one, two, three, yeah, four on the second string from the bottom. Guys, play the top string open with your thumb, and then you're gonna play those three strings we're pushing on here, the third from the top, third from the bottom, second from the bottom. Pinch those together with your thumb, pointer, and middle fingers. Then you're gonna get rid of your ring finger, no, get rid of your pinky, and put your ring finger on the second fret of the second string from the bottom, and pinch those three strings together. So that was like, Pinch, ring finger. Thumb, pinky, ring finger. Okay, a little bit more and then we'll review what we have. Then what you wanna do is get rid of your ring finger but have your pointer finger smash down onto the first fret of the bottom three strings, you guys. We don't care too much about the very bottom one but you need to make sure you're pushing on second from the bottom and third from the bottom. Keep your middle finger there. Top string open. Go down, pinch those same three strings. Then add your ring finger back to the second fret of the second string from the bottom and play those strings again. So, so far, here's what we have in the bridge section one. We have bar, fourth fret, get rid of it. Second fret, uh, open, stretchy chord, ring finger, mini bar chord, ring finger. Guys, let's do it one more time. My descriptions of what was happening were not great. My play-by-play -play commentary needs, needs some work. One, two, three, play it with me. Thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers, open, thumb, pinch, oh. Great job, then we're gonna do our the first part again, where you bar everything on two, stretch up to the fourth fret, you go thumb, fingers, get rid of your pinky, great. This is my favorite part of the whole song. It's also not true. I just keep lying about meaningless things. Go all the way up to the fifth fret. Remember we have the capo on one, so the fifth fret actually is like the sixth fret of the guitar. Bar on the fifth fret, stretch up to seven with your pinky. You're gonna go thumb on top, Fingers play the bottom three, then get rid of your pinky and play the bottom three again. So it was the exact same like pattern we did here, but we're doing it on the fifth fret. Guys, then you're gonna relax your finger. You just want the tip of your pointer finger to just touch 
the fifth fret string, just barely on the top string. We're gonna do a harmonic. So that's where you just right, right on the fret. You just touch the string as lightly as possible. Don't push it all, just touch it just barely, then play the top string. It's gonna make that very quiet, high-pitched, chimey sound, just like that. You're gonna play that. Then on the bottom, we have this little run, this little uh, fiery, acoustic guitar run guys you're gonna play on the bottom string play four four zero then on the second string from the bottom play four two so that was four four zero four two then play this two again and then do a quick pull off where you just pull your finger off and kind of give the string a little flick so now we've got like that then on the third string from the bottom play two one two four six now here's what's great about this part you the tempo can kind of fluctuate you know how i i said this song was sort of like a classical song but that was really just an excuse so i didn't have to name all the different chords and stuff one of the benefits that comes from thinking of it is like a that sort of song is our tempo can kind of fluctuate as long as it stays musical it's really helpful. This is really helpful information I'm giving you guys. That last part was harmonic. Hello, my name's Stuart. Welcome to the channel. Guys, we've completed bridge part one. Let's play it all the way through. One, two, three. Here we go. to bridge part two this is this this is not still not quite the hardest part i think bridge part three is the hardest part bridge part two goes like this here's what we did you're gonna have your pinky on the fourth fret of the second string from the bottom pointer finger second fret third string from the bottom ring finger fourth fret third string from the top. And this is the part that really sucks. You want your thumb to play the second fret on the top string. Or you know what? You also, actually I take that, I mean you could do it that way. That's how I've been doing it. But just now at this moment, I've realized you could also use your pointer finger to play two on the third string from the bottom and use your middle finger to play two on the top string like that. So yeah, I don't see any reason why you, you couldn't just do that. What you're gonna do is using your thumb, pointer, and middle fingers, you're gonna pinch together the second, third, and fourth strings from the bottom. Pinch those to... No, I don't like it. I like, you can do it. I like thumb more, but the thing is, I think a Chico Aoba plays a classical guitar, so that means the neck of the guitar is like this wide, and there's no way she can get her thumb up over the top. So I think it must be that this song is impossible, and we should just give up now. Bye. Okay, so you pinch those three strings together, then play the bottom string open. I use my ring finger to play that note. Then you play those three strings again, bottom string open again, three strings again, Bottom string again, so that was three times. It was one, two, three. Then, this is why you have to have that second fret on the top string. Your thumb plays the top string, then use two fingers to play the second and third string from the bottom. Pinch those together, then play the bottom string again. So that was one, two, three, top string. Then you do these three, and then the bottom two more times. So that first part was one, two, three, top string, two, three. Then we have to go to this stretchy chord. We did it a little bit in bridge part one, guys. It's gonna be top string open, middle finger, second fret, third string from the top, pointer finger, first fret, third string from the bottom, and pinky is gonna play four on the second string from the bottom. No barring or thumbs necessary for this one. You are going to play the top string with your thumb and then the second from the bottom and third from the bottom with your fingers. Pinch those together, then do the bottom string, then pinch those, no, oh, shoot, darn idiot, go die. I hate everything about the way that you look, especially the way your beard is not quite a beard, but it also is not quite shaved. 
Starbucks mug. Really cool. Why don't you just get a Nike hat and then also get a, uh, what's another brand? Um, why don't you go and get a, um, a Caterpillar construction machine? Perfect. So when we get to this stretchy chord, you start off with your thumb playing the top string and your fingers playing the second from the bottom and third from the bottom. Pinch those together, then play the bottom string. Then you play the second from the bottom, third from the bottom, and third from the top, and then the bottom string. Then play those same three strings again, and the bottom string. Then your thumb goes back up to the top, and then you go back down to the other strings and do it twice. Guys, the whole second part of the bridge went like this. We're on this chord here. We go two, three, thumb, two, three, stretchy chord, two, three, top string, two, three. Are you ready for bridge part two, guys? It uses those same two chords. So get this chord ready again. The second fret on the top string, pinky plays four, second from the bottom, pointer finger plays two, third from the bottom, ring finger plays four, third string from the top. Guys, you're gonna go like this. Play the top string with your thumb all by itself. Then, using your middle finger and pointer finger, play the second from the bottom and third from the bottom. Then, using your thumb, play the third string from the top, and at the same time with your ring finger, play the bottom string. So that was thumb, fingers, pinch. Close up, thumb, fingers, pinch. Then you go back to fingers on the second from the bottom and third from the bottom. So that pattern is thumb, fingers, pinch, fingers. Play it with me, and a here we go. And a thumb, fingers, pinch, fingers. Great job. We're not done with this chord quite yet. Then you have to do, so we just did thumb, fingers, pinch, fingers. Then you're gonna go pinch on these two strings again. And then fingers on those two again. So that was thumb, fingers, pinch, fingers, pinch, fingers. Then you're gonna do that entire pattern again with one little difference. For the very first note, instead of doing thumb all by itself on the top string, you're gonna do thumb on the top and the bottom string open with your ring finger. So guys, that was like this. So it was thumb, fingers, pinch, fingers, pinch, fingers, uh, fingers, pinch, fingers, pinch, fingers. Then, we go to our stretchy chord, guys. Remember our stretchy chord? And we're gonna do the exact same picking pattern once. We go thumb, fingers, pinch, fingers, pinch, fingers. Exactly the same pattern with this hand, it's just with a different chord. Then get rid of your pinky. So you just have these two fingers. You're gonna play top string with your thumb, then play third string from the top with your thumb, then the next string down with your pointer finger, then play the bottom string with your ring finger, then back to the third string from the bottom with your pointer finger, back to the third string from the top with your thumb. So that was bonky binky binka. Guys, let's play bridge part three all the way through. Good luck. One, two, three. Here we go. Thumb fingers pinch, fingers pinch, fingers oh, fingers pinch, fingers pinch, Fingers, stretchy chord. Fingers, pinch. Fingers, pinch. Fingers, bonky, bonky, binka. We have to play the bridge all the way through. I know, I don't want to do it either, but we're doing it. One, uh, actually no, let's not play through the bridge right now. Let's learn the ending and then we'll just play through the whole song. I think that's a good deal. Ending is pretty short. We go to this chord right here. We haven't done, we haven't quite done this chord before. It's pointer finger plays two on the top string, skip the next string, then middle finger plays two on the next one, ring finger plays two on the next one. Voila! Guys, thumb plays the top string, and then using these three fingers, you're gonna play second from the bottom, third from the bottom, third from the top, twice. So it's thumb, fingers, fingers, then play the bottom string, then the third from the bottom, then the third from the top. So that was boom, Pow, pow, bingy, bong. Then, get rid of your pointer finger. Move your middle finger to the second fret of the second string from the top. 
put your pointer finger on the first fret of the third string from the top. Very similar to what we did before, but not exactly. Your thumb plays the second string from the top, and then on the same three strings with the same three fingers as we did just a moment ago, you're gonna go bling, blong, blow. Thumb, fingers, 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 then play the third string from the top, then the third string from the bottom. Guys, we're so close. We go to this chord right here. I just took this exact same shape, but I moved every finger over a string. So now, not using the top string. Top string is open. We're not gonna use the second string from the top. Then middle finger on two of the third from the top, pointer finger on one of the third from the bottom, ring finger on two of the second string from the bottom. Guys, thumb plays the top string. Whoa, out of control. These three fingers are gonna play a second, third, and fourth string from the bottom, the three you're pushing on over here. Then you play the top string with your thumb again. Then move your ring finger to the third fret of the second string from the bottom. Or you can add your pinky right there if you'd like. So you keep these here. Then we want third fret on the second string from the bottom. You go thumb, play those same three strings. Then get rid of your pinky. Get rid of your ring finger. Have your pointer finger smash down on the first fret of the bottom three strings. You're gonna play the second from the bottom, third from the bottom, and fourth from the bottom with your fingers. It's kind of an ugly chord, that's okay. Then guys, we go like this. We play two harmonics. You play a harmonic on the 12th fret of the top string and a harmonic on the 12th fret of the bottom string one at a time. I use my ring finger, and again, a harmonic is where you get lined up with the fret, just exactly right there, and you don't push at all, you just touch the strings. Also, remember you have a capo on the first fret, so you're not gonna go to the normal 12th fret, you're gonna go one past it, because we want the 12th fret from the capo, and you just go So that ending was like this. Pretty great, right? Guys, we're ready to play it all the way through. One, two, three, from the top, here we go. And the verse part one. Part two. Part three. Oh, yeah. And the bridge. I'm gonna mess it up. I can feel it. Ow! Uh -huh. Shh. From the bridge. One, two, three, here we go. And the ending. Perfect in every way, just like Mary Poppins. Hi guys, my name is Mary Poppins, welcome to the channel. Yondu said something about Mary Poppins, Guardians of the Galaxy Part 2, and then he died.